Hi, this is Russ from Production Expert, and I want to show you how you can use any synth, whether it's AAX or not, or any other VI, in Pro Tools, even if you've got something like a HDX rig, and that's using this great new feature in Pro Tools that came in Pro Tools 2022.9 called Orgs IO. And what effectively it means is you can bring several different audio sources into Pro Tools at the same time, even if you've got a HDX rig. It's Mac only, and it's very simple to set up. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use a synth. And in this case, I'm gonna be using Surge XT, which is a great free synth, and I love it. The problem is it's not AAX, so I wanna use it in Pro Tools. So there's, there are other ways you could possibly do this, but this is the really straightforward way you can do it these days. So I come back into Pro Tools, and I come to my setup window to IO, and at the moment, all I've got at the, at the showing are the Audient Evo 16 inputs coming in. So I choose this button here, Orgs IO, and you can see now I've got tons of choices to, to work from. I'm gonna go for Audio Bridge 2B, here, there, and that's added that now. Now what I could do then is call it Surge Synth, and I'm gonna do that just for this, and press OK. Now I've set up an auxiliary input already. This could be an input with, that you want to record from, but I'm going to choose this, an interface, and I go Surge Synth, there, Stereo. It's now named. Now I go to my Surge Synth, and it's very straightforward to set up the audio now. But before I show you the setting up the audio, the other bit, of course, is the MIDI. And now if you're a Mac user, and it's only for Mac anyway, you go to Audio MIDI Setup, and I go to the MIDI window. This is IAC Sync, which is into app communications. And just make sure this is switched on, devices online, bus one, that's ready. And so that's that's ready to go. And then I set up a MIDI channel as well. And my output of my MIDI channel is uh, IAC sync bus one, channel one. So I now come to Surge Synth or whatever, whatever external synth you want to use uh, in terms of a plugin. And I just go into the options here, audio MIDI settings in this case. Uh, and I'm going to choose Pro Tools Audio Bridge 2, 2B. And I make sure that the in the MIDI settings, my sync bus one is there set that should now mean that if i play this synth we've got playback from a synth that you couldn't use now obviously it, it just start using your imagination of what you can start plumbing into pro tools without too much difficulty. Uh, I've done all sorts of things. I've even had other doors but using MTC Sync, playing the second door and then it coming back into Pro Tools. So it's a really powerful tool to use to get all sorts of stuff in and uh, knock yourselves out. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.